Hi everybody, Dan here. Today we're going to be talking about primitives in Blender. Specifically in the latest 2.8 version, you will find a lot of very cool building blocks to start modeling with. But let's start with the basic objects. Once you start Blender, you will find always a primitive to start your work with, which is a cube. But you have a number of different primitives included in Blender. We have a plane, we can start with a circle, with two kind of sphere, a UV and the ICO. You can start with a cylinder or a cone, a torus, the famous donut. You can start with Suzanne, <laughs> or you can start with the grid which is like the plane, but it has multiple subdivision. It's also important to mention that when you add the mesh, in the moment you create the object, you have a number of options that could be changed apart from the size that can be changed um, after you create the objects. But you have, for example, the subdivisions that may create an object that is completely different from the default setting mesh. For example, here we have a very different kind of um, sphere or if we have a cylinder for example we can create different kind of prisms apart from these meshes we have of course different curves that can be added to uh, start your modeling with we also have surfaces object that are basically what are called NARBs normally in other software and they are kind of advanced um, geometries they cannot be edited as a normal uh, geometry let's see the difference between a um, mesh geometry which is made of vertexes edges and faces and instead a surface geometry which is basically made by curves we also have metaballs metaballs are actually very interesting they were very popular several years ago and you can create very organic Kind of objects with metaball it's uh, very um, it's like molding with uh, some kind of modeling clay blender 2.8 comes with a number of different add-ons that um, expand the options for creating um, primitives so your initial meshes if we open the preferences and we go to add-on and we also select testing so you have the whole um, sets of um, add-on available we can start with uh, enabling add mesh extra objects which will add in our menu a number of different objects let's see don't forget to save and let's see what these objects are we have a number of new options now and apart from single vert we can go to round cube uh, which has uh, itself a number of different uh, options to create new objects we can still create with these new objects a octahedron or a quad sphere and, and a rounded cube which is a cube with this bevel effects you can change the number of subdivision it's it's like the bevel but um, instead of creating these uh, effects adding a cube a normal cube and then adding a modifier a bevel modifier you can just have the primitive ready to go now so it's it's a way to um, speed up the process for example you can certainly build in blender a capsule uh, which is a sphere where the central part has been extended basically but having the primitive ready will speed up your modeling very much also you can create a number of different objects just uh, changing the parameter of the uh, presets Next object, it's a math function, which given your equation will create a geometry. This is very f uh, useful for visualization purposes. You can define the resolution to have a smoother object, uh, but it's also a nice way to create um, parametric uh, surfaces if you are into this kind of visualization. There are two kinds of math surfaces you can create and the difference is that one is defined by one function while the second one is defined by uh, three different equations. So there are a lot of 
interesting geometry that you can create uh, luckily enough the equation are already included in blender so you can just experiment with the different parameters and create very interesting shapes even just going through the um, the preset will give you a number of different primitives to play with this is a torus of course we have the primitive torus but this is created with the equation that means that changing this parameter i have no idea what's going to happen but it will give me different kind of shapes it's very interesting also to learn how this equation works of course these uh, surfaces that are created uh, have no depth but the depth can be increased easily adding for example a solidify modifier and maybe subdivision surface too and now you have a cool interesting object in your scene which you can achieve, of course, with a lot of modifications starting from uh, probably a cylinder in this case, but having the objects ready, it's really, really um, a big benefit for the speed of your modeling. The mechanical section, we have pipe joints, which are exactly what you expect. So they are pipes. We have T-joints, for example, and we have Y joints, cross joints, all of these geometries would require probably, I don't know, more than a few clicks to, uh, to be created. Instead, now they are already um, embedded in Blender and it's a very, very interesting addition. In the mechanical section, we also have the gears, which are what you expect. Gears, and we have again a number of different parameters to achieve completely different effect and to create a number of different gears you also have in gear the worm which is the threaded gear that will connect to um, a normal cog gear and again there are a number of different options of course you can use this as starting geometry to do anything else really not just a, a warm gear but can be used for any kind of mechanical or tech for example object or just for your 007 movie intro let's move to the next which is torus now we have already the normal torus, but here we have a number of different objects. As you can see, the topology of the geometry is completely different. Some of the presets are missing, and the reason is because they are still in beta. So once the final version of Blender 2.8 will be released, in every um, primitive you will find more presets. Of course, you can add your own presets if you want to create one. And again, starting from something as easy as a torus, you can achieve very interesting geometries. Another torus we have, it's the super toroid, which looks normal, but then you can change with the ring manipulator some of the parameter to achieve different uh, effects. Next one, is going to be the torus knot which is one of the more interesting it's basically a continuous surface or geometry there are three kind of knots and you can change the resolution and the result is this kind of knot let's try that with a material with a metallic material it looks like a modern sculpture of some kind quite cool inside the extra mesh menu we have also another extra sub menu where we have diamonds and we have as you expect a number of diamonds one is the geometric uh, shape the other one is 
the jewel classic cut of the diamond and the third one is a gem this one can be already used in a ring for example without having to model your diamond or starting from a, another complex geometry here you have your diamond ready you can just work at the material we also have the beam builder which will create as you can guess beams and you have different profile of course again this is a very good addition to do quickly structure of building it's it's very very uh, easy to work with and you can create a structure of a building in really literally no time we have the wall factory now the wall factory is quite complex as you can imagine and i'm not going to all the different a uh, options but there's a lot to work with and really you can build something very very interesting and complex in uh, no time the beam object it's meant to be used with uh, an array so the end of the side it's exactly the perfect match of the start of the other side and here you have your wall made of bricks in no time it's a very powerful tool again i suggest you to play with it it's a lot of fun next extra is going to be the simple star which is as you can imagine again a star you define the number of vertices you can achieve the same effect starting from a cylinder for example but why not using a mesh that it's ready made next one it's a step pyramid again you can do this in many other ways but this is ready and you can also change the kind of pyramid you want we have the honeycomb our lovely hexagons we can define how many we want how thick it's the frame of our honeycomb with this flat surface we can easily solidify and dive in our honeycomb geometry in no time next starting point is a teapot a teapot was a classic or i don't know if it's still classic uh, object like the suzanne for blender for another software i'm not gonna mention we have also the teaspoon it's kind of a joke but it's also useful for a scene just to add some object to your table to see how it looks like it's nice having something well made and ready made the next extra it's the manger sponge which is a cube where the sides have been basically cut with the shape of a cube and why is this cool it's because changing the level you will have each single face cut again and you can go on and on it's like a sponge and you can create very interesting visualization using just one primitive no bad for a geometry created with two clicks another add-on i suggest to enable to create more primitives is the geodesic domes remember to enable the add-on save the preferences and then you will have in add mesh geodesic dome a new primitive that looks like a normal prism but it's not it's a very powerful primitive creator so if we go in the menu object you can see we have a number of different primitives and for example if we start with a sphere which is looks like a normal sphere but actually we have a number of different options apart the classic one which is the resolution we have this already in the normal uv sphere but here we have for example gap and look what's happened if i change the gap i can create a portion of a sphere can create something like a flower or something abstract if you want i can change the other gap the vertical gap and create a portion of a sphere again i can change the face In Blender you can also add a number of 
extra geometry which are more organic. We already explored the sapling tree generator to create trees in my tutorial. This tutorial, go and check it out if you're interested in tree. Another add-on I'm going to show you to create a, an extra primitive. It's called rock generator. And as you can imagine, it will create an interesting mesh called rock. And it's exactly what you imagine. It's a rock. It's not hard to create a rock in Blender, but here you have a number of settings that will really make the creation much faster. First of all, you have the formation of the rock, and also you have a random seed. That means that every time I click generate, I will have a different rock. Very easy to create a number of different rocks that maybe you want to add for your um, landscape or they are uh, used as particles, for example, and you need a lot of them different. It's so easy to create a new one instead of modify them manually, each one, one by one. Plus you have presets again. So you have fake ocean, which is a surface rock, but you also have ice, which is smoother. You also have sandstone, which is a specific shape stone. You can clearly see the layers on the rock. You have asteroids, which is bigger and has a very rough surface. Of course, you can create these rocks in Blender without this add-on, which is anyway included. So I, I don't see why you should not use this add-on. You can also check how this uh, geometry is created. There are a few modifiers, there is some uh, displacement going on. Uh, and you can even further modify the rocks uh, to your uh, preference. I again don't see what's the benefit of creating something from scratch once you have a tool so powerful. Now this add-on doesn't come with a material, but really adding some noise material to the rock means that you can create in literally five minutes an image like this one. Hope you enjoyed this uh, overview of extra objects and mesh to start your uh, work in Blender 2.8. Of course, it's not a comprehensive list. The list is very massive. I didn't download anything special. All of these add-ons come included in Blender 2.8. Let me know if you have any doubt or any request and subscribe to this channel and ciao